Malaysia will be sending 10 of its best chefs from various hotels and universities to represent the nation at the International Exhibition of Culinary Art, IKA, or Culinary Olympics. Branded the mother of all exhibitions of culinary art, it is the oldest and biggest exhibition of its kind in the world. Held once every four years, some 45 countries will be taking part this time. Team captain, Sef Zubair Zain from Le Meridian Hotel in Kuala Lumpur, says the team is very optimistic about their chances in Germany. It's going to be, a, I know it's going to be a very tough for our national team because talking about Kuala Lumpur Olympic is the, the most uh, the highest ranking and the most prestigious competition in the world. It's a, it's a rank, it's the first rank, ranking number one. Okay, for this 2012, uh, we're going to compete with another 45 uh, national team and then we, we, we have been grouped in a very uh, tough group uh, with a defending champion Norway and US. But uh, for my team, actually uh, I have a confidence on my team. We have been practicing for almost uh, eight to nine months, you know, and then every week, once in a week, once a week, we have a training session. And then uh, today is our, what we call uh, our first presentation, I mean full presentation. Normally we have only a training session and in-house presentation, but today will be the first where we're going to display uh, our coal items and also serving the actual food that we're going to serve in the hot cooking category in Germany. As a prelude to the Olympics, the team had a fundraising dinner at Taylor's University. The three-course dinner featured some of the dishes the team will be showcasing in the competition. We have a three-course. Yes, uh, we start with a combination of fish and seafood, a coal and warm starter. Uh, it's a combination of salmon confit, uh, uh, some lobster siu mai, and also with the cod, marinated cod fish. Uh, we have some influence of Asian flavor in the food, and then but nicely presented in Western style. You know? And then uh, come to the main course, we have a combination of beef and a calf sweet bread. It's a beef tenderloin wrapped in a, a bread crust, topped with some uh, nuts, you know, and, and, and dry or fresh herbs. And then big to the medium uh, done. And then for the terrain, we have a calf sweet bread terrain with a mushroom in between, mushroom to be of like to be of uh, sweet bread terrain and also pan fried sweet bread. And then we serve with a uh, sweet and uh, white potato tart. Uh, garlic emulsion and also natural juice. And uh, for dessert, uh, it's a combination also a warm and uh, cold dessert. It's a mango and passion fruit mousse. Then we have a chocolate bavaroas. And then uh, we serve the chocolate garnish. And uh, on the side, we have a warm dates and banana pudding. Served with mascarpone vanilla cream and also accompanied with some berries compote. Apart from that, the team of chefs also put on a cold display which features a variety of dishes as part of the competition. Okay, uh, talking about cold display, um, actually we have about 10 categories. We participate in 10 categories. Uh, it's all cold. Actually, it's a hot food but we transform into a cold display where we glaze all the food and nicely presented on the table. Okay, you see at the back here is all the cold display. It's, uh, it's starting from the cold uh, plated appetizer. Then we have also our tapas, and then our finger food, and we have a buffet platter, and then we also have a three-course menu, uh, what is a vegetarian, and then four plated main dish, and also a four plated dessert, and some a showpiece, and also a petit fou. Right? The Culinary Olympics will be held from the 5th to the 10th of October 2012 in Erfurt, Germany.